hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we'll be talking about top 10 interview topics related to salesforce integration not just topics maybe top 10 interview questions as well okay so integration is a very important concept like like uh, uh, it's one of the most difficult interview topic when it comes to a salesforce developer or consultant interview because it can go very complex depending on what kind of integrations you have worked on okay so we have generalized it and then we will talk about what are the 10 different types of sections or topics do we get okay initial idea was to create just five uh, five topics or five questions out of the integration but because integration is huge i have uh, created around 10 so almost in in almost every interview you will get integration related question if you are not a fresher if you have more than uh, let's say two years of experience it is expected that you at least know the basics of integration in fact in in current market even from freshers it is expected that you should know the basics of integration at least the rest integration so first topic or most of the time first question is going to be what kind of integrations you have worked on explain me or they may ask if you have worked on multiple integration they may ask you to explain your latest integration complete flow flow from uh, uh, starting point till the end point just explain the whole integration the purpose of this question is to understand what kind of integrations you have done and then inside that what are the things you were responsible for so that interviewer can get more clarity on what to ask from you further okay so in most of the cases first question is going to be a descriptive question where you will be explaining what kind of integrations you have done okay if you have not worked on integration in a real project then at least connect to salesforce orgs via the rest integration by that way you will be able to understand the complete flow from inbound to outbound doing the call out and exposing your api there is a very good video available on youtube for that by manish chaudhary it's a workshop i guess for one and one 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 hour some minutes uh, and it's very good for all the beginners so do that i will put the link in the description okay then second most important topic our questions uh, normally people get is related to authentication and authorization what is authentication what is authorization what is the difference between them can you explain auth 2.0 flow how auth 2.0 is different from uh, oauth uh, general oauth and different uh, grant mechanism what are the different authentication mechanism available so this again is a theoretical topic but it, it checks a lot of practical things as well make sure you completely understand the login flow make sure you completely understand what is uh, session id what is refreshed open and uh, how it gets generated how uh, the flow will work complete oauth 2.0 flow will work okay then third is uh, what is name credential what is remote site setting what is connected app when will you you be creating a name credential when will you be creating a connected app when you will be creating a remote site setting what is the external credential what is the difference between name credentials and external credential that is also a very important uh, salesforce integration topic okay make sure if, if you want me to explain uh, any topic in detail though uh, there are so much content available on this so i'm just highlighting the question but if you want me to explain it i can explain it in the comment as well as i can make a dedicated video on these things okay or i'll keep on creating based on my interview question of the day as well just tell me if you want or if you're not aware okay then fourth very important integration topic is serialization and deserialization most of the time when we learn integration through trailhead or through general uh, uh, sessions or topics you will see a very generic payload which will have an object and one two parameter very basic but in real integrations you will get a json which is very huge which has an object inside list and then that has an inner object which can have inner list so it's, it is going to be a huge payload 
of let's say thousand lines of JSON and all. So in that case, you'll have to work a lot on the serialization and deserialization, serializing your data, deserializing data, sending data in the format other uh, system uh, understand, getting data and understanding that data in the format in which Salesforce understand is very important. So make sure you understand what serialization does, what deserialization does, what parsing does, what is the meaning of wrapper class, why we are creating wrapper class, why we are creating different different parameters inside it. It is very important from the integration point of view. Okay. Then uh, this is again, uh, I've seen it so many times. What is the difference between put, patch, post, uh, why we use these kind of annotations, what is the purpose of these, when to use which one, when not to use which one, make sure you explain everything. This is the fifth one. And then the sixth one is, how do we write test class for integration? Because in integration, you'll be calling a third party system. Then how will you cover that scenario? What is the mock callout framework? Okay, so make sure you cover that as well. Then uh, we have, uh, a question on uh, I've seen many questions on this how do you do the error handling in framework or how do you debug an integration let's say you have done an integration with a third party system but you are not able let's say on click of data click of a button you are supposed to see some data but that data is not coming now how will you debug this situation um, how will you make sure that this is not a Salesforce issue or how what will be your general approach to debug uh, situations like this? What is your general approach when you will have to debug the um, integration? It could also involve LWC, it could also involve a third party system, it could also involve a middleware. So make sure you explain it in such a way that it covers all those uh, uh, systems as well, not just within Salesforce. Do not restrict your thinking of debugging just within Salesforce. Make sure you go beyond that because that is what it is needed to debug the integration. Okay, then uh, they, there are a lot of questions recently I've seen coming from the event driven integrations they'll be asking a lot have you worked on platform events have you did any integrations with the help of uh, uh, platform events do you understand what is fire and forget integration what is event bus what is event producer what is event consumer what is the daily limit in the platform event related integration so understand what is platform events maybe try to do an integration via platform events between two salesforce instances from one you publish a platform event and then from other you just subscribe it uh, via the uh, outbound okay and just complete that integration let's see uh, i think with that you'll be able to understand better do not just read the theory of it because otherwise it will be very difficult for you to explain it so do the practical of it if you need a scenario or to do practical on it just let me know i will try to give you a written scenario but it is it is very easy just just try to sync let's say account between two salesforce instances create an account there and then once the the moment account gets created maybe via flow just publish a platform event and then in that other org subscribe for it okay then there is a question related to can we do callouts from trigger can we do callouts from flow can we do callouts from batch apex can we do callouts from lwc so these callouts from related questions are also there maybe you get one of it in your interview make sure you practically try to do it can we do it yes we can do it but how what are the limitations uh, when you practically do it you will get to know that okay let's not directly do uh, call out from trigger let's use future method because that's how we do it okay so if you do it practically you will be able to explain better you will be more confident while explaining because integration is a topic where i have seen most of the people getting uh, uh, getting defensive and interviewers understand that defensiveness. They understand the moment you start going on the back foot, they understand that you're going on the back foot. Okay, don't do that. Maybe you don't know much on the integration. That is why you're not very confident. But whatever you know, try to explain it with full confidence. Then last topic on integration is different types of integration pattern. I'm going to create a separate video on integration design patterns. So for now, if you can read it from anywhere, do that. Otherwise, I am going to do a full video on it very soon. So these were my top five, top 10 interview uh, topics on integrations. Make sure you read them. Make sure you learn these topics and do ping me if in case you need any, any support in these. Thank you.